T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 2, 1, 0, and lift off of Space Shuttle Atlantis. Hi, my name is Oda Lutz. I'm NASA Explorer Souls Coordinator at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California. Hi, and I'm Rachel Power. I'm the NASA Explorer Souls Coordinator at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. And we're here today to talk with you a little bit about the Rockets Educator Guide. It's one of our favorites. And we we're going to give you a little bit of an overview of what we're going to accomplish in the next few modules. And then we'll go ahead and launch into the activities. Right, so throughout this, this electronic professional development, we'll be talking about the educator guide. We'll kind of give you an overview how to navigate through the guide. We'll look at specific activities, how to, how to actually navigate through the activities, but we've selected one in particular that we'd like to focus on today, and that is making a basic high power paper rocket. From that, we'll launch into the science and engineering concepts that are involved with launching a high power paper rocket. Yeah, and actually, we mentioned earlier that this is one of our favorite activities, one of our favorite guides. Right. Um, so it's one of my favorites just because it's been around for a really long time. The lessons are tried and true, um, but recently it was updated. Right. So some of the activities are brand new. Uh, a lot of you might be familiar with the old rocket guide. I don't want to say old, but the previous version of the rocket guide. So this has been all new, updated, brand new activities, but some referring back to the tried and true that like we always have loved and enjoyed. And one of the reasons we like these activities is the materials are easy to find. They're things that are common around your house. They're common in a, a hardware store. And the, the instructions are really quite easy to follow. Right. They have great reproducible worksheets. They uh, reach a variety of ages and, and different difficulty levels. So it is a really great guide. Right. So shall we go ahead and take a look at that guide a little bit? Yeah. There's, if we get started uh, looking at the different uh, sections without, throughout the guide. There is a pictorial history, you'll notice as you start to flip through the guide. It takes you through the early days of rocketry through to the today's rockets, including the space shuttle. And after that, you'll find a section on how rockets work. And you'll see some illustrations that use common everyday items, things that kids are familiar with, to exhibit the forces and motion standards. Right, and then we apply those forces to rocketry to try to inspire students to continue wanting to learn science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And then if you are interested in the standards that the activities address, which we all are because we're all looking to teach at the standards, um, there are two standards matrices in the guide. At the very front of the guide, you'll find one for the National Science Education Standards and one for the National Math Standards. The way the matrices are organized is along the left are all the activities in the guide and across the top are the standards and then the little rocket designates whether that particular activity hits a particular standard. Additionally, there is a suggested grade level matrix uh, for each activity. Um, again, your teachers, we're teachers, we're accustomed to adapting things for various grade levels, so this is merely a suggestion and things can be adapted up right. and down. But it does, does give you a good overview real quickly if you just want to quickly glance at that matrix you can get an idea of which activities might apply to your mm -hmm. students. Well, gosh, Rachel, it looks like we have everything we need. It looks like we have a guide that has explicit instructions, some great PowerPoints. Absolutely. I think we have everything we need and we should probably launch into one of our activities. All right, let's do that. <laughs> 